Hey guys, it's the Andy Son here. Just uh, out and about on a quick little uh, walk. I just wanted to let you guys know what's going on with me with the whole Navy weight thing. I'm proud to say that I am now officially under 200 pounds. Actually, I'm like 199.8 pounds, so I'm like just fucking barely, but hey, I'm under 200 pounds. Yeah, I'm pretty gosh darn excited. And uh, to be honest, I'm kind of surprised that I'm under that because I didn't do any kind of exercising this weekend. I also went to McDonald's, so I ate kind of poorly. But I didn't have I didn't have pop or soda, whatever you guys call it, in your neck of the woods. Tomorrow will be my 50th day without any kind of uh, like soda or whatever. So I've been drinking mostly water and juice on occasion just to kind of freshen things up, but mostly water. It is a little windy out, so I do apologize if uh, there's too much wind noise. So I hope you can hear, still hear me. I'm also going to be going back to MEPS uh, today. The reason I didn't go last week is because I got ringworm, I guess, or like some kind of fungus infection on my arm. And at first I thought it was just like a rash, so I just, you know, put some rash cream or whatever on it. And it went away for a while, but then it came back. So I had to go to the doctor and get some official prescription stuff. It's going away pretty quick. Unless you're really looking for it, you can't really notice it. So that's good. I mean, yeah, I'll just uh, go up to MEPS, get weighed, measured, then go to the uh, liaison to discuss my rating, which is the term for a uh, job in the Navy. Yeah, I'm shooting for the, uh, the IT rating, which is pretty much basically what it sounds like, you know, working with computers, networking. From what I've read, you know, the IT rating's kind of the, uh, the general computer computer area. I mean, they're not strictly networking, they're not strictly software, they're just kind of the in-between guy. Now, I could be wrong, but that's just the uh, idea I get from what I've read so far. And uh, the kind of work that they do is uh, largely classified secret, technically. So a lot of it they can't really discuss online. So it's, it's kind of hard to get a good uh, grasp of the, uh, the rating. But it definitely sounds like something I, I might be into. You know, get myself a security clearance and do that sort of thing. Now, I was considering going to the nuke program, but to be honest, um, I'm not really sure if I want to make the Navy my career. And with the nuke program, you have to sign up for at least six years instead of four. Yeah, right now I'm not really sure if I want to make the Navy my career. I know it can be. It can be an excellent career if I want it to be, but right now I'm not really sure if I want it to be. So, you know, my basic plans are to serve the four years of active, then during my inactive years, just uh, go to college. I'm not really sure what the whole, uh, you know, what I can do during my inactive years because when you're inactive, there is a possibility that they could call you back to duty. But because the Navy is so overstaffed, it's highly unlikely. But it is possible. I don't know if you're allowed to leave the country during that time or whatever, or if you have to inform them that you're leaving. I don't really know. So if any of you Navy guys or, you know, any kind of military guy know uh, about what you can and can't do during your inactive time, just uh, let me know in the comments. Yeah, basically, if I can leave the country or whatever, then I'll see if I can get like a study abroad program so I can go to Japan. I'm going to try to shoot for getting into uh, the University of Finlay. It would be nice to go back to Bowling Green because I, I really liked living there. As far as the school goes, eh, I don't know. It just doesn't really seem like my kind of place. It seems like a, a place you could uh, easily get lost in the mix at. Yeah, I wouldn't mind going to some place like, you know, University of Finlay because everything goes to plan. I won't really be at the university. I'll just be uh, studying abroad. And I think if I remember right, it's actually cheaper than BGSU. Yeah, just uh, study abroad in Japan for as long as I can. Ideally until I graduate, but I probably can't do that because there's probably like credits and stuff that I gotta get before that happens. And uh, speaking of which, I'll also try to get as many college credits in the Navy during my active years as much as I can so that way I don't have to spend, you know, another four years in college. And hopefully by that point my loans and stuff will be paid off so I'll be able to use all my uh, past credits from like ITD Tech and UU so I can put those to good use. I want to go back to college and I like the whole college thing, but I think, you know, maybe at that point, you know, I mean, heck, I'll be around 28, 29 by the time, you know, I'm done with my... Uh, active years. I might not want to hang out with a bunch of, you know, 18, 20 year olds, which is why I'll be uh, getting an apartment instead of just dorming. I mean, heck, I'll be old enough to do that, so. 
won't have to worry. I don't know if I'll be able to study abroad as soon as I sign up for the University of Finley or if I have to go a year or whatever. So there's a bunch of technical stuff that I have to go through and that's four years away. So I'm not really too worried about it, but I am, you know, thinking about it. Yeah, just uh, for today, you know, I'm going to be going up to MEPS, get weighed and talk to my liaison about my job rating. And if all goes according to plan, then I'll get a uh, sworn in that day, be given my date for when I'm shipped off to boot camp or to take my PT or however they do it. Because you have to take a, a physical test, PT, before you can actually go to boot camp. And I don't know if they give you the date you're supposed to take the PT or like the day you're supposed to go to boot camp, which is you have to take the PT by this date. Not really sure, so once again, any of you uh, military guys out there, just leave me something in the comments if you know. This vlog went on a bit longer than I had thought, but hey, <laughs> you guys are probably used to that kind of stuff by now. Oh, one more thing before I go. I decided to get my taxes done uh, professionally, just because I was really worried about the whole school tax thing. I'd already done my state, my I've already done my federal and my state because I'd worked in different school districts. Um, I wasn't really sure how to do that, and it's a lot of just like weird technical mumbo jumbo that I didn't really understand. So I just said, you know, screw it, just get my taxes done so I don't have to worry about it. It charged me out the ass. Oh my god, they took about like half of my friggin' tax return for fees and processing and shit. Bad news is I won't be able to get the guitar. Probably not even a fucking camera so uh since i won't have enough money for the uh camera or the guitar i'm probably just gonna get something else which will be a surprise until i get it i was thinking about selling some things on ebay to get it but i don't really know what my internet time is gonna be like for uh, the next couple weeks it's gonna be kind of screwy and besides you know once i get to uh, a school you know i'll be able to get the guitar because i'll be getting money and stuff really sucks because you know the guitar's on sale and it's really cheap and my stepdad probably yell at me if i bought a guitar anyway so you know where'd you get the money and shit like that so it's all for the best uh did it with the camera if it came you know when he was here you know, where'd you get the fucking money to buy that camera you know how come you can't pay us fucking rent he likes to use the effort a lot it's probably where john gets it from wink <laughs> But yeah, so I'll just uh, get something else. It'll hopefully uh, be a surprise. So yeah, this is the Andy Sun signing off for now. And we'll see you next time. Bye.